Kevin here for Winners and Winers. And as you know, the NFL schedule is out. And what comes out with it? Oh, we've got the schedules and we've got the over-unders. And I know it's early, but I am all over one particular over-under number. And that is the Raiders. The Raiders won six games last year. They are projected to win seven and a half. They won six games last year. Please tell me where they got significantly better. I'll wait. Nowhere. Nowhere. Traded away a great tight end. Yeah, they brought in the kid from Notre Dame, but tight ends notoriously really don't start fast in the NFL. And I love Notre Dame. As you see, the, the mug behind me, I watched every game the kid played. He's slow for NFL standards. He's slow for NFL standards. And he's not as big and powerful as Gronk. So he might be a bit of a tweener. I think he was a bit of a reach where they took him. And I think it's because McDaniels has thin skinned and got criticized for trading Waller away. And then the Saints came and got Foster Moreau, which took away their second option. So all of a sudden, the cupboard was bare at that position. So I think he had to go make a splash. Is Jimmy G that much better than Derek Carr? <laughs> Not on your life. And he can't stay healthy. I'll tell you one thing. Carr missed a handful of games over his entire career with the Raiders. Jimmy G hasn't stayed on the field for an entire season, and I can't remember when. So I'll be surprised if that game, that guy is still playing quarterback past the eighth game of the season. Oh, by the way, the Raiders have the one, two, three, four, fifth, sixth hardest schedule in the entire NFL. Their road games include Bills, Chargers, Bears, Lions, and a brutal stretch towards the end where they're on the road at the Dolphins, the Chiefs, and then the Colts. Uh, I don't see a sure winnable game on this schedule. At Broncos, first game for Sean Payton, not certain. Uh, they're going to lose at the Bills next game. Steelers at Raiders. Nah, the Raiders and Steelers, it's always a dogfight. Raiders at Chargers, loss. Packers at Raiders, loss. Patriots at Raiders. All right, I'll give them a fighting chance in that game. Then they're losing on the road to the Bears. They're losing on the road to the Lions. They're going to lose to the Giants. They're going to lose to the Jets. They're going to lose on the road to the Dolphins. They're going to lose to the Chiefs. Then they get the Vikings. Meh, maybe they get a win there. Chargers, they lose. Chiefs, they lose. Colts, they lose at home for the Broncos. I'll give them 50. I, I don't see a sure five wins on this schedule. Oh, but Peyton's going to be better in it. I mean, McDaniels is going to be better in his second year, right? Uh, no. As a matter of fact, his second year coaching with the Broncos was worse than his first. He won three games with the Broncos in season two. Oh, no, by the way, his offseason big move was trading away their best offensive weapon in Brandon Marshall for two second round draft picks, which ended up netting them nothing. Boy, does this pattern sound familiar? Ding, ding, ding. Hammer it. The Raiders are going under seven and a half. Go get this number before it goes away. I'm Loud Asman for Winners and Winers, trying to make you a better.